Okay, and I think with that, we are live. Let me uh, give it just a second. Get the attendees moved into this introductory session. I believe we are on the air. Um, hello, uh, welcome everyone to the, uh, to the first uh, conference kickoff for the Digital Studies of Digital Science meeting, uh, DS Squared 2021. I am one of the two uh, co-organizers of the conference. If you don't know me, uh, I'm Charles Pence, uh, assistant professor here at the uh, Université Catholique de Louvain in uh, Louvain-la-Neuve, Belgium. Uh, so I'm, I've, I've been uh, working on questions around digital humanities and sciences for, uh, for a number of years now. So uh, let's see, let me start by in, going ahead and introducing my, my fellow co-organizer, Luca Rivelli. So Luca, do you wanna, wanna introduce yourself, say a little, say a little something? Uh, Luca? Luca is not hearing me, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, hang on. That's odd. Um, let me, let me, let me, we'll come back to that in a second. Let me, let me send a message. Um, so, okay, sorry. Uh, little technical hiccups. We'll get these ironed out. Um, so, oh yes, Luca, can you hear me now? Um, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, yes, go yes, ahead and yes. uh, inter introduce yourself. Introduce Hello yourself. everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm uh, a postdoc working with Charles Pence uh, here or there, probably in Louvain, <laughs> because I'm in Italy now, but um, I'm really happy to start this uh, conference with him. And I'm really looking forward for great things to hear from all the speakers. So please, let's go with, with the conference in a moment. All right. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, uh, Luca, cut your, okay, Luca's on mute. Is there still an, is there still an echo? I'm actually not hearing any echo on my side. That's very strange if so. Um, my apologies. You'll also note that uh, I'm on, I'm on tape delay. Uh, So my apologies if there is if there's some technical trouble do do let me know asap and we'll we'll see about we'll see about getting that sorted out okay it looks like it might have been okay it's just just somebody local cool all right all right um, so thank you for being here let me let me say a little bit about the meeting and then a little bit about the technical uh, 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 aspects of of running a conference here on Crowdcast just so that you have an idea of how this will work first thanks a lot. Um, this meeting was something of a gamble, I think, uh, uh, when, so this, this comes at the end of a three year project that I've been running here at, at the Van La Neuve with the gracious funding. Let me, let me thank more than once our, 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 our funding provider, the, uh, FNRS, the Fonds National de la Recherche Scientifique, the Belgian, uh, the Wallonian, uh, research financing organization who's who's underwriting our, our virtual meeting today. These platforms these platforms aren't free, but uh, thanks thanks very much to them for that. And this has been a three year project on the digital history and philosophy of biology, and I, I promised them a conference at the end without really thinking what that would look like. I wasn't really sure uh, what we wanted to do. Uh, but that said, as I, as I got closer to the end of this, I started to realize that I feel like there are multiple communities around two connected changes in the way that we've started to study the sciences. On the one hand, um, changes that have been made in the process of doing science itself by the advent of digital methods and big data. And on the other hand, changes in the way that we, as people who study science, I'm a philosopher and historian of science, but uh, as well, a number of other disciplines, I'll come back to that in a second, have started to study the, uh, the products of science, the processes of science at the meta level that have also been changing as a result of digital approaches, digital methods, and the application of those in, uh, in on, our, on our side of the table, if you will. Um, so I think 
I, I think what's uh, the, the gamble that that I that I that I tried to make that I've hoped to 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 to, to pay off for this meeting is is twofold. On the one hand, this idea that all of us need to be talking to one another. So not just people who are doing uh, big data type science, but then all the different disciplines that are studying big data type science and studying it with digital tools. And so this is philosophers and historians of science. This is sociologists of science. This is corpus linguists, computational linguists, scientometrics, bibliometrics. Um, there's, a, there's a whole host, uh, as well as the classical digital humanities, there's a whole host of fields that I think could really profitably be put into dialogue. And I haven't found a time for us to all sit around in the same place and talk to each other yet. So I figured I could make a time for us to all sit around in the same place and, and talk to each other. Um, that, was, that was sort of half the gamble. The other half of the gamble is, I, I think there's a great chance to sort of stretch in terms of area. So you'll find when you look at, at the conference program here that there are, areas of the sciences and arts just about as disparate as you can imagine. So math, there's, there's mathematics, there's life science, there's physical science, there's uh, pure arts. We've got a poetry talk coming up on Thursday. And I think that that's another way to kind of expand uh, uh, the way that we think about what we're doing when we engage in this kind of work. And so I'm hoping this will pay off. Uh, we will see. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, this is the first time uh, that a meeting like this has been run that I'm aware of. And so we'll see, we'll have to see how it, how it goes over the next four days. Um, let me talk a little bit about technical stuff. So the furniture of, of Crowdcast here on your screen. Uh, mostly there's two things. So for you as an attendee, there's basically two things. On the one hand, there's the chat over here on the right, which I see is already kicking off. This is awesome. Um, this is a sort of live, you know, latest message posted, shown. It's it's not threaded. It's not complicated. It's just a live chat. And this is something really for you as the attendees. You know, there's a nice, it's hard to 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 rebuild some of the kind of conviviality and 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 networking that can be available when we uh, when we talk uh, together at a at a proper conference. But I think one way to do that is yeah, this is a sort of open forum. You know, feel free to run uh, uh, to run your own uh, discussions during the talks. Um, don't, however, ask questions to the speaker there. So there's a lovely system in Crowdcast. You'll see it down there at the bottom, just to the left of your chat box, a button labeled Ask a Question. Uh, and the Ask a Question button here uh, uh, pops up your opportunity to ask a question or suggest a topic. If you click that, uh, you will be able to uh, post a question. Uh, you'll be able to see the questions that other people have already asked, and you can vote for questions that you'd like the speaker to answer. Uh, you can also comment on a question. So if you, for example, think someone should uh, clarify their, uh, their remarks or something, uh, feel free that, that you, can, you can comment on a question that someone has posed uh, to, uh, to ask for clarification or something like that. So that's how we're going to handle the Q&A session after every talk. Uh, you guys can feel free to post in, the, in that Q&A section uh, in for, uh, questions that you have for the speakers. And I, I'll be the MC for actually every talk. Uh, it, you know, it's a small conference. I can, I can do that. Um, so I'm going to sit with those Q&As uh, and... Uh, relay them back to the speaker so that you guys can get answers to your questions. Um, also, let me just say, I, again, I'm on a tape delay, so it'll take you guys a while to see this, but I'm actually super excited. I, I love seeing how, uh, how geographically spread everyone is. Well, we got to, we even have, we have Mars reporting in good. Uh, but no, uh, thanks. Thanks very much to everyone. It's, I think it's, it's a really great opportunity for us to get to, to be in dialogue with people uh, that we might not normally get to see it at, 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 at local conferences when, uh, when uh, travel and, and expense is a, is a bigger problem. But this is at least one of the real advantages that I think we can take from the pandemic. So um, without further ado, let me see. Ah, yes, uh, there are no official Twitter ambassadors yet, but you are welcome to be one. We do not have anyone who is officially designated to live tweet the meeting. 
Um, so that is, that's a, uh, that's, that's a, a, a perfectly awesome thing. I would love to, uh, I would love to see uh, more folks who are interested in spreading the word on social media. We have a, uh, we have a hashtag. Let me, it's again, with the tape delay, this is going to be weird, but uh, I'm putting the hashtag in the chat now. So by the time you hear this, the hashtag will already be in the chat. Uh, there's our hashtag for social media. So please do feel very free to post. Also, almost all, uh, not quite all the presenters wanted to do this, but almost all of the talks will be posted on YouTube. And I'm going to do my best to do that the day after. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, European time before the conference starts, I'm hoping to spend my morning uploading all the talks onto uh, uh, onto the YouTube channel for uh, our center, Cefis Esset at UC Louvain. So you'll find a link to that from the conference page. One more thing that uh, is technically important. So the one event for this conference that's not taking place here on Crowdcast tomorrow evening, we'll have a live tour through the Places and Spaces exhibit. Uh, this is a mapping science project from the lab of our first keynote speaker, Katie Borner, who'll be, uh, who'll be joining us in just a second, the first talk of the conference. Uh, her group's Places and Spaces exhibit um, is uh, going to give us a little tour. That'll be on Zoom. So I encourage you, if you're interested in that, that'll be at the end of the day, Europe time. So mid-afternoon uh, American time tomorrow. Uh, if you're interested in joining us for that, go ahead and get your Zoom client installed and updated. If you haven't already, I know, I know most of us probably have. Um, I'm not going to share the link to that Zoom yet. It's about the only thing I know of to do to prevent Zoom bombing right at like an hour before that session starts. I'll post that Zoom link in the chat a few times here on Crowdcast, and I'll place it on the website for the conference, which you've probably seen. If you haven't seen it yet, you can click a uh, full conference program down there at the bottom center of your screen, and that will take you to the full program. That Zoom link will be there right before that event starts. So you can come, come join us in Zoom. But not only do we get a cool, uh, uh, virtual tour of their exhibit. They're going to have a couple of people from that project there to show us around, to give you a link, to click through their website and check out uh, the, various, uh, the various projects that they've been involved in. But then I'm hoping to kind of open it up into a little social hour. Uh, we can uh, 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 go out into some breakout rooms and, uh, and hopefully have a chance to, to chat with each other uh, in a bit more of a, a kind of relaxed and unstructured way. You can grab a, a time zone appropriate bed beverage, depending on where you, uh, where you are in the world and, uh, and hopefully meet some other people uh, here at the meeting and, and discover a little bit more about what we all, what we all have in common. That I think is really, really my goal, uh, really my goal in running this conference. So with that, let me, uh, let me see if there's any, I don't see any other questions coming in yet. Um, our first speaker will be on in about 15 minutes. I wasn't sure how long this introduction would take, so I wanted to give I wanted to give people the enough time to uh, uh, to be able to connect and be ready, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we'll have a little bit of a break here now, about a 15 minute break. I'll go handle the uh, the technical support for getting our next speaker on. Uh, onto the platform. If there aren't any further questions, I'll, 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 I'll mill about for 10 or 15 seconds here, just to be sure. Okay. In that case, I think I will go ahead and call it. So, Thanks very much again. Really excited to see everybody here. I never in a million years would have expected we would have 173 people registered for this meeting. That is extremely cool. I am absolutely over the moon about it. So I will see you all back here in about 15 minutes. You'll be automatically pulled into uh, uh, pulled into the next session. So just hang out there in your in your browser window, and when uh, when we when we're ready to go live for the next 
next meeting, you'll automate your next talk, you'll automatically be uh, be transferred to the appropriate room. So with that, uh, thanks very much. All right, cheers.